he had the opportunity to do a series of commercials for a computer company. Okay. And they were just starting off then, right, bro? Yeah. Yeah. So Vince didn't want him to do it, and he did it. Uh, I do want to talk about uh, something interesting uh, that we were talking about uh, before we recorded as far as the Hall of Fame. So the Hall of Fame is a a big thing uh, for the WWE, and it's been going on since Andre was voted into the Hall of Fame. That was a long time ago. And it became a yearly thing. It became huge uh, in the 90s when they did the yearly thing and they had multiple people there. So from what you remember, as far as what you know backstage, were you ever told anything about the Hall of Fame selection process? God, bro, I swear to God, did it even exist like this this heavily when I was back there? Yeah, yeah. Did it really? Uh, yeah, I think uh, Andre and then uh, I think I was like, I think I started like Survivor Series, I think, and then it became like a, a mania thing around like 96 Bro, or so i th- i think people have lost sight of this and this is why when it, whenever anybody brings up the w the, the hall of fame to me it's it's just comical to me first mm-hmm. of all th- this is l- 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 let's just l- let's just be honest the hall of fame started because it was more content and another show for the wwe to sell to the usa network yeah just, if you remember prior to that was the slammies it was yeah. just, it was a show to make mm. to make more money. That's all it was, bro. Period. End of story. Because, to your point, Vince. Uh, yeah. To your point, Vince. Uh, like I said, Andre was voted uh, ninety three, and then there was a list in ninety four: Scotland, Arnold Scotland, Bobo Brazil, Buddy Rogers, uh, Jay Strongbow, and Tatanka in, uh, inducted Jay Strongbow. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, classy Freddie Blassie, Gorilla Monsoon, James Dudley. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I'm saying back then, um, you know, the interior in the WWE, it was a television show. Yeah, it was. It, it was yeah. just it was just an added show. Yep. And, you know, and then, bro, it, it's become what it is today, but I don't know why it's any different because, Chris, here's the bottom line. If they really took it seriously – there would be a physical Hall of Fame. 100% agree. Yep, I, I agree 100%. It is everywhere else. It's a television else. show, bro. That's <laughs> yeah. all it is. It's whatever USA Network pays them for the three-hour block, two-hour block, whatever it is. Yeah. That's all it is, bro. Yeah. And it was um, like 95 had a list. 95 had a class. 96 had a class. I actually forgot there was an eight-year gap. So there was nobody from 96 to 2004. See, that's when I was mostly there, bro. Yeah, that's that's true. when I was that's what I'm saying. That's when I was huh. mostly there. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. So 96 is I do remember 96 is the reason why I said it, but cuz I remember um Pat Patterson was yeah. uh, hey, bro, let, let, let's face it, man. The reason why I to me it's just comical is bro, how, he, the WWE Hall of Fame is you're getting Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon's uh, validation. Yeah, yeah. They, they, Pretty at, much. At the end of the day, it is yeah. up to. There is no fan vote. <laughs> you know, he, he is making the decision who's in and who's out. And I say this all the time, bro. Do you really, especially with what he's going through now? Yeah. You really think I need validation from <laughs> that guy? Like seriously, bro? Come on, man. Yeah, and that, that is true. Like, it's, it's people are like, since Vince said I was a good wrestler, yeah, exactly. That means that I'm really a good wrestler. You know, what I mean, I have a career, a legendary career, and it's like, um, and I've interviewed a lot of people that you know had legendary careers. I mean, I just interviewed uh, B. Brian Blair, you know, recently, and I think that Brian Blair and the Killer Bees, that I mean, they had a fantastic tag team career. Would they ever be in the Hall of Fame? Perhaps, maybe not, but that doesn't take away the fact that they no, had legendary no. tag team careers, man. No, <laughs> so yeah, no, yeah. No. One of one of the most popular tag teams ever in WWE. Yeah. And so they actually left because Vince uh told him multiple times that he's gonna put the belts on him and never did. So yeah. 
And, and, and that goes to show, like, oh. they can show that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to put the belts on you, then I change my mind, and then well, that, because of that, you don't have a, a legacy. Well, over. that goes to show if they left because Vince didn't leave, didn't live up to his word, and they left on their own accord, bro, right there, that's why they're not in the Hall of Fame. Yep. Yeah, right yeah. There. Yep, yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. And Bushwhackers never won a tag title on the WWE, but they stayed and they were consistent, and they're in the Hall of Fame. So that's, it's like that's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Come on, guys. Like that's really that's, interesting. Don't 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 be you know, bro. Listen, I am all for you want to open it up to a fan vote. I am all for that. Okay, fine. Yep. But when when Vince McMahon, I, oh yeah, bro, bro Bush Bushwhackers in, Ivan Cole off out. Oh, oh, yeah. Really, bro? Come on, man. Sadly, sadly. Yeah, and I think that at the end of the day, um, that uh, – did Koloff uh, – did Koloff uh, ever no. go in? No. Nope. Koloff never went in? Koloff never went in. Bundy <laughs> never Koloff. went in, bro. No. Nope. Uh, still, Yeah, Bundy's still not, right? No. Nope. Man. That's... And you know what that's about. No, fill me up. When he was working for the WWE – he had the opportunity to do a series of commercials for a computer company. Okay. And they were just starting off then, right, bro? Yeah. Yeah. So Vince didn't want him to do it, and he did it, and he wow. got tremendous heat with Vince. Therefore, King Kong Bundy is oh, not the WWE man. Hall of Fame. That's terrible, That's what man. I'm saying, bro. It's like, <laughs> come on, man. Really? You know what? I think I, I did talk to uh, Nikolai. Um about uh about about ivan uncle ivan not yeah, being in the yeah. hall of fame yeah, yeah that's and he's you know he was former world champion you know yeah. what i mean so yeah. Yeah. very very sad <clears throat> so that wasn't from well you didn't for most of your time as head writer uh there wasn't a hall of fame so yeah. you wouldn't even know as far as like if there's a selection team or if there's a suggestion or wow. i don't even know how that would go but i agree there should be a fan vote, if not a fan vote, there should be like a, a Hall of Fame committee of yep. like, you know, uh, uh, all different types of people like us two, you know what I mean? And and somebody from, you know, like Triple H. And well, Rick think Blair about and that. Think about that, Chris. Think about what you're saying. A Hall of Fame committee. OK, you know, mm -hmm. bro, like, you know, the Baseball Hall of Fame There's a baseball yeah. Hall of Fame. But, bro, what is the criteria? Win, I guess wins, that would be have to be lo made. wins losses, bro. Like, what is the criteria? Probably Guess like seats? that's a good question. I think probably like overall popularity, body overall body of work. Um, uh, you know, I think championships would come t as a factor. You know what I mean? Like, if say for instance, if there's like Ivan Koloff versus um, like. Uh, Man, there, there's a list of people who still aren't in the Hall of Fame. Like Sid, Sid, he, Sid. Sid's not in the Hall of Fame, right? Uh, so if it's like an Ivan Koloff versus a Sid, uh, as far as a uh, discussion of who should be in this year, then that's where the criteria would come in as far as like body of work. So how many how many wins and championships did Sonny have under her belt? I. Uh, None. <laughs> like, hey, as far well, as that, the Hall of I'm, Fame, <laughs> and they regret that to this day. That's <laughs> so, what I'm saying, yeah, bro. It's yeah. like, okay, you know? So I think her credentialing was uh, she was the first, you know, diva, and she had such a um, uh, popular following that made her – she had a presence and an aura toward her that made her, you know, Hall of Fame worthy. Uh, I mean, there's – Vince, we could have a conversation – about people who I don't think there's a Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah, and I, and I, yeah, right. Yeah. And I could also tell you, I, I can give you a reason pretty much for why everybody isn't in the Hall of Fame. Hmm. Yeah, well, the, okay. one, the one thing, that, the one guy that bothers me, like I get bothered over Bundy and I get bothered over Koloff and guys like that, but the one guy that really bothers me is like, because, bro, he was there for God knows how many years. Hmm. Steve Lombardi. Not only in front of the camera, but behind the camera. Bro, are, are we really basing it on wins and losses because he was the Brooklyn brawler? Bro. Like this is he this is a guy that was a WWE lifer and Chris, bro, you know that would make his life. 
You know what I mean? You you know what that would mean to him. Yeah, and yeah. I see a guy like that, and I'm like, really, guys? Like, come on, man. We have talked about, though, as far as, like, <clears throat> comparing to, like, the Baseball Hall of Fame, and you don't just have anybody in the Baseball Hall of Fame. So, like, I don't know about – I mean, so I, we, I appreciate Lombardi's but legacy. But we, we do have just anybody in the WWE Hall of Fame. Yeah, but not in the Baseball Hall of Fame, though. Oh, no, I know that. No, I know. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely not. That's a tough criteria. Bro. Yeah, yeah. And it should be. I mean, like, yeah. you're the you're the best of the best. I mean, yeah. you can throw anybody in the Hall of Fame if you want to. Like, again, I mean, we can go through a whole list of people. I'm like, huh? You know what I mean? Like, that is still doesn't make sense to me. But, yeah, I mean, there's – I think – having a committee would make sense instead of just saying Vince just kind of appointing people right. you know, like, yeah, that's, that wouldn't make that doesn't again just because Vince validates you to be in his hall of fame doesn't make you uh, a legendary wrestler but that's also the thing too Chris people even if there was a committee bro people are not going to bring up names because they know Vince has heat with them Mm. So they're not even. Gonna, I would. Not, <laughs> yeah. I know you would, but they're not even going to bring up the names anyway. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people who are like, huh, like, why, why? Like, I, I think Lex Luger should be in the Hall of Fame. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, bro. I question. agree. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, one person who may not ever be in the Hall of Fame, but should he? Uh, that's for you to decide in the comments. This guy right here, Vince Russo. Are you talking about me? I thought we were talking about Toots. Uh, uh, you know, uh, he is he is in the uh, Legends. I think he's in the Legacy way. It, what about oh, Scorpion, bro? The Black Scorpion. Mm, yeah, Scorpion. What do you think about not being in the Hall of Fame? I did talk to Vince McMahon about being in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> and he told me. I was too dark and too evil. And the people of the network would not approve. I said, Vince, have you checked what you've done over the past year? <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Scorpion taking a, taking a little shot there. Very nice. Very nice. Scorpion. Bro, you know, it's so funny. Like, Scorpion I'll, I'll never shots. forget this because <laughs> yeah. this is where I really, uh, before we go off real quick, this is where I really got my heat with Triple H. When he made those comments about, oh, if little Johnny uh, looked up the Google China's name. Oh, was, yeah. Yeah. Bro, what about if if little Johnny Googled Vince McMahon's name right now? <laughs> How's little precisely. Johnny going to feel about that? Bro? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yes, exactly. Indeed. Little Johnny would be embarrassed. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, what is, whoa. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Vince Russo, Dr. Chris, writing with Russo. Have a good night, everybody. Solo. <laughs> <laughs>